dried herbs, you guys. Dried herbs. I love this. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. to my channel i am so excited that you guys are back and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for watching make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you can see more from my channel i will really appreciate it today i'm bringing you guys healthy habits that i'm taking on in october okay guys so first of all a few of these habits i have already started here in september but that's only because I just wanted to go ahead and start my healthy habits as soon as possible and replace the old habits with new habits. You guys understand, hopefully. All right, so we're just gonna get right into it. So for one, I do wanna practice on my procrastination because sometimes you guys, I can just procrastinate, procrastinate, procrastinate. And that's not only with my videos sometimes i'll procrastinate healthy eating habits or recording videos coming up with new ideas for videos and the list can literally go on one action that i am going to replace is hitting the snooze button you guys hitting the snooze button is uh oh my gosh you guys like the snooze button that is like the devil i know i can do it i'm not tripping i know i can do it i'm pretty excited if you guys would like to see a vlog on me doing these healthy habits that would be that like that would be a really 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 fun idea if you guys are interested let me know in the comments and i will get that up for you like i can you know i can do a little vlog session for you guys if you guys are interested so another way that i'm going to improve my procrastination skills right like if i'm not doing nothing and i come up with an idea i'm gonna try to get that idea done like right then and there because me i will sit on an idea for weeks I will literally just sit on ideas. So if I'm not doing anything and I come up with an idea, I'm just going to go for it. All right. So next, we're going to talk about a few more healthy habits that I plan on indulging in in the month in October. And I have already started here in the month of September. You guys, herbs. I don't know if you guys know this, but I love herbs and I love teas and I love all kinds of natural products like as you guys may know like sheer coincidence that's my natural skincare line that consists of only natural products from mother earth so i do love like all things herbs all right you guys so product number one that i will be trying well not trying because i already know these products i don't know if you guys ever heard of dr cb i've been knowing about dr cb for like like two years i don't know if dr cb approves this product or not but i don't really care because i'm my own person so i use what i want to use dr cb he just put me on a lot of herbs that like i now love so you know special shout out to dr cb no rest in peace but product number one is black seed oil i don't know if you guys can see black seed oil you guys, I love black seed oil. I use it in, I think, almost all of my skincare products. I don't care what skincare issue you have. Black seed oil is going to be one of the main ingredients that is going to help clear up anything that you have. I love black seed oil. It's one of my favorite. And not only that, I also digest them because I have the black seed oil capsules, as y'all can see. I don't have like the liquid one. I like the capsules because some of them I can actually put in my products, my skincare products. All right, so the next product that I will be using all October is going to be sea moss and bladderick. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of sea moss and bladderick, but 
Dr. CB put me on. I used this last year when I was at University of South Alabama. That's when I, I think when I first um, tried sea moss and bladder egg. And it works really, 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 really good to clean out your system. Cause y'all know like in college, you're not eating what you're supposed to eat. I was really doing too much with the eating habits. Like in college, y'all heard of Freshman 15. It's no joke. Freshman 15 is no joke. So that was actually when I first went vegan in at the University of South Alabama. Because I was like, you know what? Let me just try it. Not to mention my roommate. Hey, Kelsey. I hope you see this. But you guys, um, my roommate was a pescatarian. So we didn't have like that much meat in the um, apartment anyway. So I was like, all right, well, I'm just going to try vegetarian because I wanted to try it anyway. I already did this. All right, you guys. So another product I have is burdock root. I had burdock root in the house for a while. I just, I just never used it. I'm not even going to flex. They're capsules. I just never used it because I've been on this vegetarian and with vegetarian, you can still eat cheese. You can still eat, you know. So I had, I was like, I'm not going to waste my products <laughs> if I'm not going to eat healthy. Because if you're going to like try this or whatever and you're not eating healthy, like there's no use because they're not going to work. I'm not even going to flex. It's not going to work if you're not on a bomb diet. I like it when I went fully vegan. When I went fully vegan, y'all, my energy was on 10. Like, you're in it. Like, you gonna wake up. I used to wake up. Sometimes I used to wake up 5 o'clock just to go for, like, a run around campus. Y'all, kid you not. Like, vegetarian diet is, like, that's where it's at. I'm not even gonna flex. I heard when you do something for 21 days, it becomes... A habit so let's see how this goes you guys I'm so excited all right so next we're just going to get into what I will be digesting kind of sort of not really digesting but like what I will be drinking I don't know if you guys know this but I love teas y'all can ask anybody who know me I love teas I love them so much you guys so I'm going to show you guys a few of my favorite teas and these teas I will be drinking for my lifestyle change but here's the thing about these teas I drink these teas all the time anyway I'm a tea person I love my teas this is my favorite tea ever invented in the world you guys this is my favorite tea in the world. It's not about Sour Sop Tea by Dr. CB, if I'm not mistaken. But you guys, I'm not going to give everything to Dr. CB because my whole Instagram timeline was herbs and vegan life and vegan recipes. Like, that's all I watched on instagram like i don't know like a lot of people probably knew this a, a lot of people probably paid attention but i cleared out my whole instagram when i cleared out my whole instagram i replaced everybody with only accounts that's gonna benefit me like vegan accounts and accounts about herbs and accounts about dr cb and like a few accounts like oh you guys i should re i should have really wrote down some of the accounts that help me but i'll just have them linked because i did not write down like the links but yeah i just replaced like everybody i'm sorry you guys but like resend me a friend request and i got you but yes i literally like erased everybody and i replaced them with accounts dealing with natural life natural ingredients natural products organic products vegan life all that all that like i was like i don't know when i did that it's just like one day and i do that all the time every once in a while i'll change my i'll change my social media but yeah it's the like right now if you stroll through my um instagram you're gonna see some vegan food you're gonna see some herbs you're gonna see dr cb you're gonna see some you're gonna see i don't know you're just gonna see a lot of like cool stuff to me because that's what i think is cool like that's what i do all day i play 
with the internet. I like to research. I like to look up stuff. But yes, anyway, you guys. So I do also have loose herbs. I don't know if you guys can see. But these are teas that my cousin made me personally. And I'm excited to try them out, you guys. They're loose herbs, so I wasn't able to use them when yeah, I wanted. Yeah, you guys, I was not able to use them like when I wanted to use them because they are loose teas. So with loose teas, you have to have tea bags. So I literally, I procrastinated. I told you guys about my procrastination, but I procrastinated to the last minute to get some tea bags. These are really nice tea bags that I got to put my really nice tea in. Um, I can tell you guys a little bit about these teas. Um, my cousin, Nikki Jackson, she made me these teas. And I just want to give a special, shout, a special shout out to my cousin, Nikki Jackson, for these teas. I'm going to use these teas in my October lifestyle challenge. So one tea is for craving. So, you guys, I do have cravings sometimes. I love candy. I'm really trying to cut out sugar because I don't, I don't know. I just want to do the whole lifestyle change. And, like, I'm not talking about all sugar. I'm talking about sugar such as candy. But sugar, like, in fruit and all that, I'm not, you know, that's actually good sugar for you. But, like, I'm just really trying to cut out sugar. And I do crave sugar all the time. Reese's Cups. All of the time got me some cravings tea oh, dried herbs you guys dried herbs i love this ah, i'm so excited I'm so she got me another tea that i'm super excited about you guys i'm going to let you guys know how everything goes with these teas once again thank you so much to my cousin nikki jackson for these teas she actually got me a third one but i used it she got me a yanni seam Mmm, you guys, I used it. Best thing in the world. If you have never yanni, you should yanni see that girl. Girl, go yanni. Seriously. If you guys need any herbs, any teas, any yanni steams, you guys just let me know and um I'll give you a link to her Facebook page. Alright, so the next tea that I'm going to show you guys is just a really nice tasting tea that i just enjoy all the time i actually drink this tea cold sometimes i mix it with the soursop tea but um this is my favorite tea i drink this tea every day like i have like a gallon of it in the fridge right now because it's my favorite tea okay so it's passion tea so it has habiculous orange peel rose hips and passion fruit flavors yum y'all i love tea so this is how it looks i got this from walmart i didn't have to order it all my other teas i actually ordered or got it custom made for me so yes there we are all right guys so the next two teas if you were interested in trying teas or you wanted to see if tea life is for you you guys, these are two teas that I love. This is how they look. You guys see it? We have peppermint and chameleon. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. But these two teas, you guys, I actually got from Dollar Tree. These are Dollar Tree teas, you guys. And peep the ingredients. Pure peppermint for the peppermint tea. Pure chameleon for the chameleon tea. You guys, I add this to some of my teas sometimes because I do love peppermint to give it the pe peppermint taste. I do love peppermint. I even put peppermint, not the teas, but I actually put peppermint oil in some of my products because I feel I love the feeling and taste of peppermint. Um, by the way, you guys, if you guys ever get bloated. If you are bloated and you don't know what to help, peppermint tea. Peppermint tea helps with bloating. Hippie Skippy taught you. All right, you guys. So I'm going to let you guys know a leather herb that I love and that I just got, but I just started using it today. 
and I'm kind of excited about it. So I'm going to show you guys what it is. I have some hemp oil, honey. I don't know if you guys can see it, but you guys, I got myself some hemp oil, okay? And I just tried it today. I just, I just wanted to try this. I'm not even gonna flex. I just wanted to try this. Not to mention it, I'm also putting it in some of my skincare products. I am my own test dummy. So I'm going to see how it's going to work with my Sheer Coincidence product. All right, you guys, and now we're going to get into skincare, how I'm going to try to change my lifestyle with my skincare. As you guys know, I do own a natural skincare line, sheer coincidence, but I'm going to tell you guys this. Sometimes I get lazy. I have been neglecting my skincare regimen for, well, I just, well, I just started back so you guys can see now that my skin is looking flawless, even though I have on makeup, but you guys can, you know, you know. Okay, so you guys, the first product that I'm going to use for my lifestyle change. All right, you guys, so this is my Tone Up Toner by Sheer Coincidence, which is me and my line. So this is probably one of my favorite toners, not only because it's my toner, but because you guys, it has all natural ingredients. And like that is now what my skin, what my skin is custom to that is like the only thing that my skin likes anything that's too strong or heavy for my skin my skin will react and i will break out but sheer coincidence tone up toner has ingredients such as witch hazel rosemary rose oil aloe vera oil lemon oil depending on your skin type tea tree oil green tea depending on your skin type so many ingredients you guys all right, you guys, and next, this is actually one of my favorite products. I actually use this product every night. I'm not even going to flex. Like, you can ask anybody who know me. Like, if you see that my face is glossy, I am in for the night. I'm not going anywhere. You guys, this is my favorite moisturizing serum for acne-prone skin because my skin, it easily breaks out to a lot of products. So, yes, I do still have to use a acne-prone serum. But, you guys, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about how you use this serum. You literally, after you wash your face and you tone your face, you literally just put this on. You put, I put a heavy, I always put a heavy layer on because at nighttime, your skin is going to absorb all of that oil. So, I always put a heavy layer on and then you go to sleep, you wake up. Your, when you wake up, your skin is going to have already absorbed all of that oil and all of that benefits from the products. And yes, you guys, I'm so excited. But yeah, I use this anyway every night. This is my holy grail to skincare. That's why my skin is looking so flawless right now. Yeah, so that's a little bit about my skincare regimen that I am willing to change for my lifestyle change for October. All right, and one of the most important things that I plan to do a little bit more often, well, I'm actually doing it now, but I do want to add it to my lifestyle change for October, and that is going to be meditating. You guys, I feel like we all need time to ourselves sometimes. So in the morning, I mean, that also goes apart with my morning routine, actually waking up on time to meditate. So I just met, had to make sure I added meditation to my lifestyle change of October. And the last thing is going to be how I eat, of course, you guys. So instead of me eating cheese i'm gonna chill out on cheese and i'm going to chill out on milk i went to the grocery store already and i bought a lot of vegan ingredients so that i can cook vegan meals for myself and i'm pretty excited a few of the meals i do plan on showing you guys how i create and how i make so i hope you guys are excited and you guys don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you can tune in for those videos of those recipes of my vegan food that I love to eat. 
So, yes, you guys, I hope you guys are excited as me about my lifestyle change. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys learned a little bit, or after this video, I hope you guys want to go to Google and research some of the items that I'm using. Like, yeah, just, you guys just let me know in the comments how you feel about doing a lifestyle change and tell me about some of the ingredients that you heard about that you were interested in i would love to hear about it yes thank you guys so much for watching all of my video you guys are so awesome please don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to comment don't forget to like and i thank you guys so much for tuning in you guys are so awesome I bye